Joe Motion Videos 82 here. It is time for a bonus review. I'll cover up the screen again. This review is uh, a request from one of my viewers, Gaz. So here you go, bud. This one is for you. Uh, he uh, requested me to, to uh, review the Iron Grenadiers Custom Tactical Battle Platform. Now, as we know that uh, Iron Grenadiers don't have any base. Cobra had a base in 82, but... Uh, <laughs> I am not going to spend $1,300 to get it. So, um, that would just be outrageous. So, I know that is one... Uh, Toy that I, I know is completely out of out of range that I'll, I'll never have and I'm cool with that uh, there is a modern one the Missile Command Center uh, which is selling for around a hundred hundred fifty right now but um, the Iron Grenadiers don't have a base at all they have a lot of vehicles but no base so when I was looking for parts for my tactical battle platform, which is now complete, and I will review that uh, hopefully in July, um, I came across one that was nearly complete. It's just missing a few small parts, and the seller wasn't a, a G.I. Joe collector, but they knew it was G.I. Joe. And uh, they were selling it for $50. I made an offer of 25 and they took it. So it, it's not complete, and I apologize for that in advance. But it was good enough for what I had in mind, which was to customize it. And uh, it, it took maybe three hours to paint. Uh, the, the gold paint that I use, I, it's a folk craft. Uh, I picked this up at uh, Michael's, I believe it was, for 75 cents. When you see the diamond on the top, it's uh, a metallic kind of paint. So I had to make, why am I shaking? I'm not using it. <laughs> uh, I had to put on multiple layers because the first layer goes on pretty thin. You let that dry, put another layer on. And it um, eventually looks really nice. And it's still a work in progress. There are parts on there, I, I, especially on the crane, that I want to paint over again, give it a little extra coat because uh, the plastic is showing through it. But all in all, it looks good. It has kind of an antiqued look. But uh, without any further jawing, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Uh, Gaz, uh, <laughs> this, is, this is it, my friend. Uh, I promised I would shoot this video for you, and I, I hope you enjoy it. So here we go. Here we go. Okay, uh, this is a, a big piece, as most of you will know. Um, <laughs> So it's going to take a little bit of extra camera work. Please forgive the messy background. Uh, this is a small room that I'm, I have my filming studio set up in. So I've crammed everything I can into it and to make the best of space. But here's a wider view of it. This pylon isn't exactly level. Uh, to level them, this tab right here, you have to gently lift up and pull the pylon down. Uh, these were originally this color red, and uh, I just added, painted them black. You can see the red inside there, and highlighted it in gold. The side view of it. Now, uh, here is the twin 
uh, computer uh, operated 30 millimeter cannons. Uh, Destro has a, could convert them over to 50 caliber if he had to. Uh, the base was a grayish white plastic, painted it black as well, added the red highlights. Over here are the missiles. Uh, as you can see, I completely painted those those gold that had a, a red band around them. Uh, one of the tabs is broken off, so that's why I have this spare missile sitting here. These are actually pretty decent missiles. I, I like them most of all. But the original battle platform came out in um, 1985. Nice, you can see it was that that white color, that grayish white. And the tabs line up with the holes right here at the top. You just uh, match those up. I have one tab that's broken off uh, and it whirls around. Down here is the command center. It has one chair in it. This is made to be run by one uh, true officer or not really an officer, but run by one man. The whole thing is computerized. Um, I am missing the window. That's the hardest part to find. But the chair does swivel. I painted that. Obviously, it looks red and black. Painted the floor black with highlights of red in it. You see the gauges on there. Pretty nice. They, they didn't skimp when Hasbro made this has one spotlight and this is the landing platform All right, so as you can see the landing pad is now utilized for Destro's despoiler after he captured this from G.I. Joe and down here on the side is a winch that swivels to help uh, pull the grenadiers up out of the water with especially undertow. This ordinarily works, but um, when I got it, the uh, rope or the string was very small. And down in here is where extra weapons are supposed to be kept. There's a, a strip. I don't have that either. That's commonly missing. That came with extra guns. But it has a nice little red ladder in it and some ammunition. Nice little panels here. And speaking of panels, work our way around to the back. I took one panel off. You could see, you know, Hasbro was very famous for having removable panels. So I did some highlights in red in there. Very nice. And um, let me pause this. Now on this side, it has a working ramp that slides out. And it has feet or a stabilizer on it. So when it's down in its lowest mode, uh, you could um, use this to pull a boat up next to and throw it on the floor. It has these little holes and it attaches to the pegs. Here on the side, those can wear down. They don't necessarily break off, but it, it also folds up and slides back onto the platform. But uh, my friends and I used to use this and have it hanging down and we had to launch a devil fish off of it. It's perfect size for it. And uh, here on the front, there's a ladder, which you climb up and down to Destro's despoiler or the anti-gravity pod and some more storage equipment which I highlighted in gold and how could I review the Iron Grenadiers platform without looking at the tank Destro created another hiss painted it in Iron Grenadier colors the twin devastator cannons you see it still has the cobra sigil on it I'm going to leave that there but I 
and a craft paint, which is easy to wash off. So if I no longer want it that color, just soak it in warm water and the paint will come off. And uh, paint the bogies gold. I didn't want to go too much gold on this. It would have looked sloppy. So there we go. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, normally I have a price point and history on that and of course Byron's gripes but since uh, I made this on my own I have absolutely nothing to gripe about. Actually I do. <laughs> what is a sin about Byron's gripes? The biggest problem I have with this are the pylons. It's a good concept, smart idea. I mean, this was actually modeled, let's hope that doesn't topple over, modeled after an actual oil derrick. Uh, these pylons with this little tab, I'll cover it more, but I need something to gripe about. And these things really irritate me. If you pull up too hard on them, they'll snap. And it's just, just a pain in the butt. They work on these little ridges. And if you don't get them all set up evenly, it, I mean, it, it's all lopsided and stuff. And I, I just don't like that. That's the biggest downfall I have with that. And I can't really complain about the price because I, I got it for a, a steal. I mean, the folks didn't have to take a half off of what they're asking, uh, but they did. They're not real you know, G.I. Joe collectors, and they were very happy that uh, somebody was going to take care of it, and which I did. I took good care of it with red, gold, and black paint. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. That's all I had to gripe about with this. Oh, I really like the Iron Grenadiers, uh, the sub team. Great storyline behind it. I mean, Destro really wasn't Cobra, but um, he did supply them with arms. But what separates Destro from Cobra Commander is Destro fought with honor. Cobra Commander didn't. He was a cheat. He re retreated. He played dirty. Destro was a gentleman. He didn't do that. And he even helped G.I. Joe out a few times in the comic. Uh, when I review Destro, I'll pull those comics up and show you. But if I remember correctly, the Iron Grenadiers were formed during the Cobra Civil War. And uh, Destro handpicks all of his men, which actually is talked about. And this comic right here, uh, this is on the uh, from the comic two pack. Uh, he he handpicks his men uh, from uh, noblemen, and uh, Baroness is working with him, and she trains them in swordsmanship, which Destro obviously is a swordsman. He, he carries a, a sword in version 2. You know, he he's, he's just a, a really good guy all around. Uh, his Iron Grenadiers do go out uh, without any uh, without their uniform. You know, he even has his pilots of the AGPs carrying swords, but unfortunately the action figure doesn't come with a sword. But his um, grenadiers go out undercover. Uh, sorry, I didn't have these pages highlighted. This is just all really impromptu. Uh, oh, right here. It's 
see this is a grenadier taken off in civilian clothing. It, he uh, uses them for spies. They're very um, highly intelligent individuals. And he accepts nothing but the best. So this is it. This is the review. I hope you enjoyed it, Gaz, and everybody else. I tried to keep it as interesting as I could, uh, you know, especially with something that you just make up yourself. Customs are always harder to review. If you uh, watch my Ghost Alley Viper review, I um, wrote my own file card for him. So, yeah, I, I really like this. This is a, a piece that I, I proudly display. I had a lot of fun painting it. And uh, the, the gold paint, like I said, you have to put several layers on it. I, I won't use model paint on a custom piece unless I completely intend on keeping it that way. So, like I said, just soak it in hot water or warm water and uh, the paint will dissolve. So I could restore it back to normal or paint it something else. So that was the review. Um, like I said, totally off the cuff today. And I, I like it that way, it's a little more personal. So go ahead and give this video a like if you so care to. Uh, also, uh, share this video with your friends and the more subscriptions I get the more prizes I get to give away so when I reach 500 I will give another prize away which will be a very nice prize uh, you know, the last giveaway I, I held I gave away a, a box uh, Star Brigade Invader so it'll be it won't necessarily be a boxed item unless I get a great deal on it but it will be a popular piece or something that uh, I know if I know you personally that uh, you'll enjoy so this has been Joe Motion Videos 82 signing off you guys have a great day be kind to each other especially be kind to animals they have feelings too unconditional love so you guys have a great day we'll talk to you later tune in next week next Tuesday for another review uh, might be vintage, might be modern. You just never know. Also, look me up on coffee. Leave me a, uh, a tip. Become a channel supporter uh, that way. And uh, I'll hold a giveaway for channel supporters just for the supporters. And uh, again, will be a, a nice piece. So you guys take care. Stay safe. Have a great day. Bye-bye.